wondering where the Pisces and the Virgo readings I had already pre-recorded them but for some reason I was asked to go into hermit mode for a while um I know the reason but you know that's personal um um I'll just say it like this uh <sighs> it is never fun to have haters let me just tell you you know people like to say hater 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 but that shit's not fun so that's your reason um but forget that on a lighter note thanks for my subscribers and my supporters the day ones um all of you but i want to get straight into this i want to like this instance and i want to get straight into it i will be posting the pisces and the virgo reading later um but for some reason well not for some reason i was called to do this reading okay called to do this reading really quickly so what do i want to start with um i'm going to start with these energy oracle cards i kind of wanted to start with some tarot really quickly yeah let's 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 start with some tarot let's see what's going on with that okay Archangel Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, Uriel, Uriel, what do you have to say? All right, one card out. Perspective here. With this five disc at the bottom of the desk. I feel like someone is needing to change their perspective um, about a situation. I feel like perspective was the first card out with the five of pentacles. The five of disc in this deck is just the five of pentacles. It can signify spiritual poverty, like a loss, a financial hardship. I feel like someone is needing to change their perspective on a situation. Um, if they don't change their perspective of a situation, um, mentally it could have them feeling, you know, at some type of loss. Rather be spiritual, financial, mental. Okay. Can you just clarify this five of uh, pentacles, please? And then the six of this comes out right before it for um um six that's that's the six of pentacles that's uh law of reciprocity of balance i feel like with them changing their perspective it'll bring in like a um like a balance uh with them whatever it is that they're experiencing experiencing rather that's a balance back in their financial state their spiritual state okay that's what i feel here um this king of wands was over here in reverse so i feel like that's this king of wands character this person could be a uh have fire in their chart aries um aries leo or a um oh shit aries leo who was the last fire sign why do we sagittarius this person could be a uh any of those three okay this person whoever this person is they're not showing up their their authentic self either um and i feel like they're not showing up their authentic self because there's something about themselves they don't know hence this um six of pentacles here with this yellow i feel like whoever this person is this energy is if they would to change their perspective this is a spiritual test if they were to change their perspective on the situation at hand or the matters then they would actually find out who they truly are this has something to do with them finding out them okay that's why right now they may be showing up in this energy of this five of pentacles at the present moment like a spiritual loss a financial loss just a loss in general like a lack mind state because there's some type of leadership role because the leadership is in reverse and in this deck it talks about leadership but the king of wands in regular in original tarot talks about somebody especially if they're in a reverse uh position 
it talks about somebody who is like more focused on themselves also not showing up themselves it talks about somebody who you know may think immature um someone that's uh focused on themselves is usually you know they will they might be kind of grimy they will do things uh to put other people in jeopardy because they're only thinking about themselves at the moment okay so that's the type of person this person is showing up is a ruthless person but yet at the same time why this person has these um while this person will do things to benefit themselves and and, and you know possibly run over other people to do it they also expect a lot from other people they also expect perfection meanwhile they are not putting that type of energy back out you know what i mean so i feel like this is the energy the five of pentacles is what they're showing up in but this is who they really are but they don't know this about themselves because they have not been standing in their power they have not been standing in that leadership role that they were sent here to be all right can you tell me more about this um <coughs> king of wands please <clears throat> Oh, shit. Um, what is it that this King of Wands needs to change her perspective about? Okay. So, this High Priestess card came out. So, this High Priestess, which could... This High Priestess is what this Divine Feminine. This is a Divine Feminine that this person needs to change their perspective about. Um, this Queen of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. So, this Divine Feminine is coming out. Um, her aspect of her queen of swords is coming out as a queen of swords because i feel like if this person this queen of wands character here who could have fire in their chart as well or this could just be an aspect of them because i feel like this is an aspect of them i feel like this is also a very passionate person um that's why they were chosen to be a leader because there's things about this person that will make a great leader but this person is basically shooting themselves in the foot because they are basically doing things putting it just putting really nasty energy out there in the universe and so they're not getting back what they are liking to receive because of the energy they're putting out. Instead, they're getting a lot of lack back because they're putting out a lack mental state because this person is not showing up in their power, power of who they truly are. And when it comes to this divine feminine right here, this person um, needs to change their perspective in regards to the divine feminine. This is about this. This is this person's divine feminine. OK, because the high priestess came right out after. So I know what it is. Um this person needs to change their perspective about this divine feminine. This person, um, it show it, what it shows up to me is that this person must have bred from this divine feminine. Okay, all right, and they're experiencing some type of karma. They must have like judged this divine feminine, and this divine feminine is showing up in this Queen of Swords aspect because it feels like to me, if this person doesn't change his perspective about this divine feminine, she's being asked to cut this shit, cut it short okay and then at the bottom of the deck was the two of cups for union so this is definitely some type of uh soulmate twin flame whatever you want to call a connection okay i can I mean, intuitively i'm reading the cards just like this i will pull out some other cards to back it up later but yeah this person needs to change their perspective in regards to this divine feminine because if not this divine feminine um is knowing that this person is suffering from some type of spiritual poverty like a lack of uh, like a lack in spiritual knowledge uh one not knowing spiritually um the knowledge having the keys and also not knowing about himself there is some type of there's some type of interference here or it's just this person it could be that or it might just just be this person we're gonna find out because justice has been uh, been served also this is the planet of venus and i also empress energy because i said this was a divine feminine okay justice has been served for this empress there's some things that this person has done towards this empress and now the universe is showing up for her and this person it looks like this person is getting ready to reap some type of karma if they don't change if they don't change their perspective and her up and get it together and this is coming quick with this emperor at the bottom of the deck again this is aries energy okay this person could definitely have fire in their chart and i feel like this fire this aspect of this person is a um uh, also could be this person's rising sign them going towards their north node your your rising sign um has a lot to do with you going towards your north node so i feel like 
that's what this person was supposed to is supposed to do this lifetime step in and be a leader this person is actually an emperor but they're not showing up as an emperor right now instead this person is showing up more in their ego more into their um like a a superior complex and this person is shooting themselves in the foot and they don't even realize it um there is a new beginning offered here but again if this person doesn't get it together okay and change their perspective and allow this mental clarity to come through that the universe is trying to bring through through this person it's gonna be a ten of wands moment okay this person is gonna occur some burdens okay um, I feel like the universe is telling this person to get some rest, to go into some type of meditation or solitude, because there's something going on here. There's some secrets that's needing to come out, okay, with this person, all right? I feel like there's some things also, too, that this person doesn't know. Um, I'm already picking up an energy that with this, this person, with them telling us, saying that this person needs to get some rest, okay? With, what, okay, this is what I'm picking up. Let me slow it down, because I'm, I'm trying to... It's coming all out with with this emperor showing up okay with this person being in this this spiritual destitution and not realizing what's going on with themselves or realizing what's going on with this situation and the need to change their perspective as a person that's showing up very controlling but be a very passionate person be a person that was divinely put here to lead to show up in its power and uh somewhat having some type of ill with feelings towards this divine feminine something occurred here because this woman has justice okay so something occurred here with this person and um the universe is telling this person to rest meditate because there are some things this person don't know some secrets getting ready to come out that's why this person is going to be burdened if they don't change their perspective okay because there's some secrets getting ready to come out all right and they're telling this person to be resilient in this so let's cut it right here okay they're telling this person to be resilient in this with this nine of wands here all right and after i remove that this hair font is at the deck yes they're telling this person to be resilient here there's some things that this person doesn't know okay there's some things that this person doesn't know either this person could have recently went to a a some type of spiritual teacher or maybe <clears throat> i don't know maybe they could have been to a spiritual teacher that for some of you this is a small small snippet you're going to some of you your masculine went to a spiritual guidance or teacher who has not been advising them correctly and for some of you this is the universe telling your person there's you need to stand strong in this because there's some things that you don't know okay there's some things you need to figure out and we that's when we get ready to move to these decks and get to the bottom of it okay this is where this is where stuff can start because there's a lot of stability here but we getting ready <clears throat> to find out what's really going on. Let's find out what secrets is it that this person doesn't know. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to move into another tarot deck too. Come on. Open up. I don't got time for this shit. All right. We're going to move into this deck. All right. So since there's some secrets that this person doesn't know, let's find out what they are. We're going to move to this tarot deck real quick. All right, this is, all right. <clears throat> all right, what secrets does, it, does this person doesn't know? This masculine doesn't know. Okay, there's a tool, there's a, all right. So somebody was being sneaky, okay? Somebody was being sneaky and in regards to some money, all right but there was no success there whoever it was it was in regards to some money but there was no success there with this five of swords okay okay why were they being sneaky about this money can you clarify this ace of swords Okay. All right, I'm trying to keep my cards straight because I don't like, I don't like. All right, so this, this, what it comes off is that 
this person was being sneaky about some money and it was in regards to like it was another female involved so divine feminine they probably put you in a third party with another person okay and it was in regards to some money he didn't have any clarity about what he was doing he didn't know what he was doing and he was trying to manifest this they both were actually they both were and it didn't it didn't it didn't happen so that's that's one secret what other what other secrets what other secrets okay that's too many cards that's too many cards this will of fortune came out this hangman came out okay and this empress is at the bottom of the deck divine feminine let's see here again two of swords he didn't know what he was doing all right ace of cups here can you clarify this two of swords <coughs> what is this a five of cups a five of cups came out here he didn't know what he was doing so it left him he was going through cycles with this person actually going through cycles with this person didn't know what he was doing and it left him feeling stuck because he didn't know what he was doing literally he wasn't it comes out to me that i said earlier for some of you either guidance that you were listening to was either messed up guidance or they weren't listening at all and it left him feeling out in the cold and crying over crying actually over his divine feminine because he found out that's why this ace of cups is here all right yeah because he he, he found out that the world was with you with his ace of cups <laughs> can you clarify this five of cups please can you clarify this five of cups and he again he had been going through cycles of this and it, i feel like for you to be going through cycles of this like i said with a small few of you the hair fine came out again ain't that a bitch like i said with a small few of you he was he was being he was being guided incorrectly he was either for a small few he was being guided incorrectly or wasn't listening to guidance that's why they brought it out again to make that point right after that five of uh, cups all right can you clarify this knight of wands here okay now he want to come now he want to come come raging in with this fool car here because he realized he was a fool okay and he's realizing it's like it's like this the energy i'm reading he realized he was a fool and there was 11 there was a level of immaturity here so it's like in his mind there's a level of innocence to, in, in his mind because he feels like he didn't know no better because he didn't take accountability for himself he was listening to somebody else instead of following his own path and his own journey and he was manipulated this person was manipulated okay what else do you have here those are the secrets that's coming out this person was manipulated so the secrets that's coming out are not well they are for you divine feminine but they're more so for this person this lesson this person was manipulated by somebody and now he's just sitting there waiting now he just sit was sitting there waiting waiting on what waiting on what Huh, it says the lovers in reverse. Waiting on you to come back. <laughs> Waiting on you to come back. All right. Waiting on you to come back. What else came out? Who all the way over there? I want to know who manipulated this person. Let's move on to the next. Let's let's find out that real quick. Let's find out. Besides besides this hair font, this is probably gonna be an extended y'all. Okay. Besides this this hair font, which is a person for some of you, like I said, this was somebody who was guiding this person incorrectly and for some of you this person just wasn't listening to guidance they were doing what they want to do that's why the, that five of pentacles came out earlier for spiritual poverty and destitution because they weren't listening and for some of you um they weren't listening once again because they were guided by somebody who they wasn't supposed to be listening to this is going to be probably an extended so hold on all right wow this is crazy that's why i said i feel I, I don't know why but i feel strongly that somebody was manipulating this person because for this perspective card to come out okay and this person needing to change their perspective about this divine feminine 
at some point in the journey, this masculine and this feminine were doing fine. So at some point, either for this person, for the energy that I'm reading, this person just turned totally against this person. Somebody was involved. All right, can you clarify this? Who else was involved in this? Okay, so there was jealousy because this divine feminine was uh, getting ready to stand into her power. Okay. Who else was involved in this? <clears throat> Someone was dealing with inner child issues. The universe says this shit is played out. Okay, who else was involved in this? So this cycle with these people doing this or this whatever was going on here is played out. It's a wrap. All right, what else do you guys have to say? <clears throat> All right, who was involved with the situation? Who else was involved with, with the situation? All right, car fam came out. Okay. Somebody has some type of family situation. Um, there's some type of family situation here where someone has not been taking care of their kids and the family is fed up. That's a small message for somebody. Okay. <clears throat> Girl fight, arguments, physical fight, at war competing. So, okay. So there we go. Ding dong. So one of the people that was manipulating this person was this other female. And I feel like she know you because at the bottom of the deck right here, it says looking, looking, researching, researching you, looking you up. And it says arguments, physical fights at work competing. So one of the people that was involved with manipulating this, per manipulating this person and changing this person's perspective uh, about you is somebody that they was fucking with. Because even at the bottom of the deck, it says secret romantic affair fuck buddy. So this person know you. And what's crazy to me is that this man is a grown-ass man. So how do you allow somebody else to manipulate you about your own divine feminine? Okay? Extend it in the next. Catch me on the next. Don't care what it was. It is what it is. Whatever you